Okay, so welcome to the Chaos Common Metrics Working Group for September 2nd. Um, the first thing we have on the agenda, well, if you wanna, if people wanna add their, oops, apparently can't type. Um, if people wanna add their stuff to the attendee list, that would be cool. Sorry, I'm just having typing fails. Um, the, the recording took my focus and it dropped it in chat for some reason. And so like half, like half of my sentence ended up in the doc and half of it ended up in the chat. So that was, that was great. It's great user experience there. Um, okay. So we have a few things on the agenda. I, as I mentioned before, will be, I'll be on holiday until the 19th. So, um, does somebody want to volunteer to facilitate the meeting for, um, two weeks. It's like the. 16th. I'm always happy to do it. Okay. Cool. Um, the next thing we have on the agenda is the the metrics freeze. So I think we did manage to get all of the metrics that we planned to get um, in, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know if we have any any comments or next steps that we need to talk about because we've got um i think we win the metrics release because we've got like five metrics going in so i'm going to call that a, a success um there is some some a feedback oh but this was like from 28 days ago, 15 days ago. Um, did we, do you, do you know, did we address these issues? That would be for Elizabeth. I do not know if we did. I don't, I didn't get any like notification or anything that they had. So I guess not. Okay. Actually, this is from July 22nd. So did we edit this metric and that's what that's what the metrics release is? Yeah, we probably just added that checklist in, I would guess, mm -hmm. was the edit. Um, but I, like after it was on the website is when I clicked on it to look and um, noticed that it was, there were a couple of typos. Okay. Does anybody want to take the action item to have a look at this and make the make the updates? I also wasn't sure if we were going to wait until after, like towards the end of the review, the public review period, to like make all the changes at once, or if we do it bit by bit as things go. I don't know the answer to that. Like, I'm not sure that I. We have thirty days. Is that right? Mm -hmm. um we can do a bit by bit bit by bit might help kind of just in case other people have comments I'm, I'm trying to think if we how we've done it in the past and i don't recall like one way or the other yeah that's a good question because um because these are on the website for people to review. If we if we make changes, do those changes get pushed to the website or will people continue to be reviewing the old one? Because if they continue to be reviewing the old one, then it probably doesn't make sense to do changes as we go because people will still be reviewing kind of the old version without our changes. I don't know the answer to that. I do actually think they I think they're pushed to the website, but I'm not like, I'm not even close to confident in that answer. So um, that was going to be exactly the same answer that I had, as I thought. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give Matt the action item to talk to yeah. Kevin about uh, the process for updating based on comments. And I was thinking maybe either way. Like on the one, which one was it? Was it 
collaboration platform yeah. activity. Yeah. So maybe we could also do just an action item like under Elizabeth's comment that would just be like summary of things to change to date, just so we we can kind of keep it mm -hmm. clear in the issue. Because sometimes it takes a little while to go through the issues and pull out like the comments that Ray had and the comments that Yahoi has. Okay, so was the action item to have someone summarize the stuff so far? Yeah. And did anyone volunteer to do that? Well, I'll do that. Okay. So I have three items so far. I'm facilitating. <laughs> Why did I come? Aren't you glad you came? <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll just link, I'll link the issue so you can easily find it. Um, and then the other, the only other thing like on this metric and, and it'll be all the metrics is we have that checklist mm -hmm. in the issue. And like in diversity and inclusion, we've been kind of giving people an assignment to go through the checklist the best that they can you know, that it has been added to the, say, for example, the translations repo, it's been labeled, like, I mean, we can click both of those right now, but, um, and I'm sure the metrics on the website, but um, I think we've followed all the process. It's just, okay. Just kind of a way to keep track of everything. So basically I need to have someone go through the issue checklists. Mm -hmm. And a few of the metrics don't have the checklist I saw. Okay. So that needs to be added. Does anyone want to volunteer to do that? I'm taking no action items this, this week because I'm just not going to work on them. I can do that. Okay. Cool. So do we have to do it for all the releases or just this one? Like, uh, all the release metrics or? Uh... Or for all the ones in the current, in the current release. Okay. It's, it's basically the five metrics three have it or two have it already. Okay. okay. I'll do that. Cool. Um, and actually making sure that we have translation issues for the metrics, that's part of the checklist, right? Say that again, I'm sorry. Yes. So translation yes, issues is. is part of the checklist. So I can yes. probably just delete that because that'll be handled as part, yep. of, as part of that. Uh, I'll go through that. Okay, perfect. So do we want to do we want to walk through each of these or do we want to just um, it might be better just to wait until we until we get more feedback and until the nod's gone through and done the checklist. So maybe that's a good item for, for next week. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go through all the release and checklist, uh, but it'll not contain the any comments. It'll be just a quality check of the release and all the procedures that have been followed. I'll go through that. Yeah. Perfect. Um, anything else on the metrics freeze? I think I'll use the, in two weeks, I think we'll probably spend just a little bit of time just going through the checklist in the meeting. They don't take very long. We can just do it collectively. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet and the status on the work in progress metrics. Um, so we have we have several that are 
under community reviews. We've got, um, we should have five in that category. I see four. I think language distribution there should be under community review. See, it's under contributions. Yep, okay. I was just looking to see the, yeah. the issue. I think we're calling it programming language distribution though. Is what we ended up with, I think. Language distribution in the issue. It's programming language to see, so it fails one of our checks. <laughs> <laughs> it is program. So on the, yeah. the actual work down, yeah. it's programming language distribution. So, so we can fix that. So, so just a note, I'll not be able to edit these things because I don't have the rights to edit. So if you want me to edit, provide me the rights, or I'll just create the issue for that. That needs to be done. So for example, like I'm unable to edit the comment uh, that Kevin has made for this list uh, for making a, like marking the stack list. Oh, so you can't tick the boxes. You don't have this option. I don't have the edit rights of this repo. If I get the edit rights, then I can edit any comment or I'll just create a list for what is missing and then somebody who has the edit rights can do it. I think it probably makes sense for you to have edit rights. Yeah, I can do that. Actually, go, that. I'll do that right now, but go back to the issue list. Yeah. And, oh, that's weird. Maybe, I just I, can't. I, I, you, somebody may have updated the name of it now. Okay. I, I just, I just I, did I, that. I just, I just renamed it to programming language distribution. Okay, I was seeing it in the issue, but in the list, it was a different name. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, to fix these things, uh, even to tick mark the checklist, I'll not be able to do it because I cannot edit the comments. Okay. Once I get the rights, I can do it then onwards. I'll okay, right. well, Matt will fix that for you right now. Okay. Um, And then we still have a few that are that are in progress. I think one of the things we probably need to do is follow up with Daniel on um, some of the ones that he had in progress. Um, if I had to guess, I would say that his new role as CEO of Paturgia means that he probably needs someone else to pick this up. <laughs> Because um, I know he's missed the past few meetings. Does somebody want to reach out to Daniel and ask him about about these and, and see if he? Because I don't I don't like to just take them away from somebody when they've already done a lot of work on them without without explicitly asking. But I think maybe we should offer to have somebody else pick them up if he's not available. Which ones is it? Um, these oh, two: time waiting for submitter action and reviewer action. Um, let's just, can... Maybe let's go to the issue. Maybe we can just tag them there. Or do you want, want to do it like more and like that? I guess we're recording, so it's already public. <laughs> we want <to> just... <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not saying anything secret. I mean, we know that his role yeah. has changed and becoming the CEO of a company generally means more work. Um, so no, we could do it in the in the issue if you think he'll see the GitHub notifications. I, I don't know how you all are on GitHub notifications, but I I get overwhelmed. Not right now. I'll just send it. And then I think there was another one. Oh, episodic contributors. Does anybody know who was working on that one? That honestly, I think was um, Georg from a long time ago. To be honest with you. This title still confuses me. <laughs> I mean, I know what it is, but it's like, I have to think about it. Yeah. Not drive through, I mean, episodic. I like one time contributor, but that's just me. I digress. <laughs> In the past, we had a lot of discussion on this, uh, especially uh, on the terminology of this particular metric. Yeah. Yeah. 
I tend to agree with Elizabeth. I think um, so. Episodic is definitely um, very specific. I suspect that that is a word that people who um, aren't native English speakers will never have come across. Um, so I, I worry about using kind of uh, language like this in, in metrics, just because, especially in metrics titles, because I worry that not, not everyone will know what that means. Um, I think that's a really good point. And I don't know that that has actually been brought up before. So I think that's a really good point. I'm just gonna put that as a comment. I'm a fan of simple language. Just why I wasn't great in the whole academic setting, like writing academic papers. Man, it just killed me. I'm like nobody's gonna know what these words are, but that's one of the words I have to use because that's that's the way academic writing works. It's, it's, it's true. <laughs> it is. Now, um, my my former supervisors are actually working on a paper proposal for for my research, and they're they're doing all of the work on it. Um, but yeah, the language in that, I'm just reading it and I'm like, yeah, this is why I don't, I don't want to work on these papers. I keep my dictionary handy whenever I have to meet with like Matt and Sean and um, <laughs> all these PhDs. I try to do a really good job. Like there's, it's <laughs> funny because it is like, as you know, it's like two different worlds of like how you communicate. It really is. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I try not to use any like academic terms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> even in academia because they're usually pretty horrible <laughs> um okay sorry that's a digression um so the question is are there um sorry i just lost my train of thought um did somebody take the action item to oh <laughs> okay cool um, are there any metrics that we want to work on next out of this out of this list? Um, or are there any new metrics that we should add? I mean, the ones that are in progress seem like really good candidates. Because, mm -hmm. like, I get, I get, like, we all get it with. Like, episodic contributors and then time waiting for submitter action, time waiting for reviewer action. Those are pretty, they make a ton of sense too. Okay. So. What was it called in here? Was it called episodic? Episodic contributors. Um, What were the ones that Daniel was working on? Uh, those two right there. Okay, cool. Um, Anything else on the metric spreadsheet or on what we want to focus on next? Okay. I don't think there's really much to do. We don't have any pull requests. Um, most of the issues are ones that we've we've talked about and that are kind of work in progress. Um, Oh, actually, we have more than five candidate candidate releases, don't we? I just saw that as you scrolled down. Yeah, because we reopened these issues because we edited them. Sorry. Oh, I have a fork. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my. So the question is like, 
those which we have reopened like for minor edits do we have to go through the entire checklist first for quality checklist okay i think so because we still need things like like translation and stuff there might be some yep. of it that's sort of mm -hmm. already already done okay but... okay okay So I think to celebrate the fact that we win the metrics release, I think we're actually finished early. Unless there's anything else that plane. anyone wants to talk about. You can, you can catch your plane. Have a good flight to Austin. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to take a bunch of like Somonex before I get on the plane. <laughs> Wake up when I get there. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Well, and enjoy Malta, is that where you're going? Malta, yes. That's yeah. awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to look good. for your pictures. I don't know if you're going to post pictures, but. Oh, I'll post pictures. Most of them will be of drinks and food. Um, I know. Because that's, that's pretty much. Do some what... like, I want to see like what it looks like. Are you on a cliff? You know, like, is it cliffs or is it beaches or is it both? Um, I don't know what it's like. I think it's mostly beaches. The place that we're oh. going to be is right on the beach. Okay, so like you can walk out and just walk into the the sea. Yep. That sounds really nice. <laughs> That's my plan. Uh, yeah, just sit, sit in a chair with my Kindle pretty much all day and let people bring me drinks and and food. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I plan to do for two weeks. Oh gosh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All well, right. have fun, and I will Thanks see you all next week. The rest of you next week. Bye. All right, Bye. take care. Bye.